Y'all know what time it is, right? So, this ain't night time. So, this gonna be my daytime. Okay, this is my daytime confessions instead of nighttime confessions, okay? So, I'm gonna start off with my fucking face. Okay, it looks a lot better per se, but it looks, it looks better in, than what it did the other day, but it don't look better in a way where you're like, yay, let me smear foundation and blush all over my face again, or yay, I want somebody to look dead in my face, okay, because you got that subconscious thing like somebody sees it, like yesterday, um, my nephew didn't see it, so I just drew it to him, like, don't look. Look, so I'm not turning to one of those superficial bitches. I think not. Anyway, but uh, what's crazy is um, watching a lot of you ladies here on YouTube, y'all have like um, a total regimen based on one product. So I was like, hmm, the two regimens that I, no, three. The three regimens that I did use every last product, um, two of them worked, and I was thinking about actually going back to one, you know, or at least they products. And then, you know, in between my face routine, if I'm trying to, if I try to do product, what I do is just stop cold turkey, using some of the stuff that I've been using, and um, and then try out the new product so I can really just say, hey, I got this effect, I got that effect, because I feel like it's cheating if I'm using other stuff, right? So, this time, I totally, like, stopped. Like, when I say stopped, I didn't do, like, um, my normal uh, MAC cream wash and um, some of the other stuff that I use. I just didn't do that. I just, like, pretty much, like, um, like soap and water, not like it's a face soap, but a soap that I used to use come from the beauty supply store. So I like using it, right? And um, and I didn't like the way it felt. I was like, look, like this shit felt better than this. So I stopped using it all together. And um, and then I pretty much just about all week, I haven't been putting on that much makeup because I ain't been doing that many videos. So. It was kind of, it made it kind of easy for me to kind of trace some of the things that could have caused it. Or, well, Cause I do agree it's an allergic reaction, but I believe I, uh, I believe it's an allergic reaction to a product. And I noticed those wipes are the ones that every time I wipe my face, my face felt like it was just immediate and flame and hot. But I thought maybe I, I was like, well, maybe I'm wiping too much. And my cheek area is the way is where I normally concentrate my wiping. Now, why in that certain area, I don't know, but, you know, like I said, um, we shall see, um, I will be going today when this sweetie get off work, so. I'm trying to, like, twist my chapstick with one fucking hand. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Uh, anyway. But it's sad because you, I would feel better getting on here and being like, hey y'all, all those products I be putting on my damn face, I swole up. But, in fact, I feel the opposite. I feel like my face got away like and fucking um, spasms like like the damn shit was like you put us in rehab because you, you ain't putting stuff on us like you usually do. I'm not saying that's what happened, but I kind of felt like like I mis was misusing my face. I didn't even put on fucking sunblock or SPF sunscreen. Anything. I didn't do none of that. Like whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Um. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not telling everybody to stop using, you know, the wipes or nothing like that. If you, if you use them and they work for you, that's fine. I just noticed that, um, the, what is it, the Olay Sensitive ones in the blue pack, I never had this problem with. Um, the MAC one, they are right. I didn't break out, but they wasn't as great as the Olay ones. Price wise, either. But um, I have used some from Walmart, the Walmart brand that has broken me out like little bumps and stuff after using them like the second day or sometime the first. Well, one of them first days. The, uh, there's another pack that I got the second time every time I use them. And I don't know why I just didn't just chunk them. But the Target ones, I mean, I noticed like, like hot, like. You know, and I did notice my face look a little red after I used them. And for my complexion, for me to look a little red, y'all black women know our red looks more burgundy, okay? Like I used to tell my friend when I stayed in Detroit, it's like, is my nose red? And um, she would look at my nose. She said, yeah. And I say, she said, is my nose red? I said, no, it's burgundy. Our nose gets burgundy, not red. So, anyway. Um... Oh, which brings me to Bear. Bear, I love you, okay? Black Lacquer. Got my Ace Boom Coon. I mean, both y'all in the blogging world, y'all do y'all part. Y'all bring up issues. Y'all talk about things that other people might be afraid to talk about or don't talk about. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I watch Bear video and I might not comment because it might be too controversial in, in the non-beauty area. So what I do is give him his five stars, well, his thumbs up now. But, um, and Black Lacquer, sometimes you probably think I ain't there watching you, but I watch you as well. But here's my thing. I really think you guys should get together privately. And y'all don't have to get on the phone. Y'all can PM each other or whatever, or I am. I think it's really none of our business because a lot of us probably thought it was squash, you know, whatever. I think you guys should probably um, handle this because YouTube they like drama. They like to, they they like to keep things going, and it's not everybody on YouTube. It's a lot of people will shun away from you guys because of that. But it's some people on here that really likes to rah, 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 rah. they they get amped up, they get amped up, you know. And and I know better than anybody because you know I don't been put in a situation where me and a person didn't get get along here on YouTube. You guys know. Um, who that person is, but she's bullheaded and I'm bullheaded. And what's so great about it is that two bullheaded people, they can like make up in their own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and, and I'm gonna say it, y'all know, Salima, Sammy Seven, Beauty on Blast. You know, when she became partner, and I seen somebody rated her video, so I went on there and I said, Congrats. You know why I said, Congrats? Because I ain't no hating ass bitch. I don't hate nobody. You know, if a, if a bitch is a bad mofo, she's a bad mofo. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hate on a person. If a person can do something and do it right, what the fuck I look like hating on? That's like looking at a girl walk in, the bitch is bad. She's a size three with a killer ass body, a bubble butt, and a dress and shoes to kill with a hair laid, I mean fried dye laid to the side. And that's just like you looking at her going, hmm, huh, she thinks she all that. No. You thought she was all that soon she walked in that damn door. Okay? And y'all know where I'm coming from. Because a lot of times, women will do it. I had to catch myself in the past. No, I don't do that motherfucking shit. Because where you think you bad, another bitch better than you. You know what I'm saying? So, people will, you know, keep the keep the fuel. And you'll think they're your friend. And, and, and they'll, they'll make a fake accounts. And they'll, you know, say things. And, do shit, you know what I'm saying, so don't worry about it, you know, everybody know that, um, that nothing's going on between you and Bear, um, hopefully, I mean, so many miles away, I don't want no damn cyber dick so many miles away, I don't, I don't like cyber dick, I mean, I've been the same dick for five years, so cyber dick would just really turn me off, like, come on, like, where are you, <laughs> who are you, anyway, Love, peace, and hair grease.